First, a news alert out of New York where police are searching for a man possibly involved in a terrifying attack on a crowded subway station. We know this incident is of grave concern to New Yorkers. We cannot lose sight of victims in this city. We will use every resource we can to bring those to justice who continue to prey on the citizens of New York. This is Nightside. I'm Carolina Lee. Tonight, security is being tightened for the mayor. And investigators are zeroing in on this man right here, 62-year-old Frank James. Here's why detectives say he is a person of interest in this case. Investigators found several items at the station, a tote bag with a hatchet, two gas canisters, a semi-automatic handgun, several undetonated devices, and the key to this U-Haul there. Now, investigators say it was rented by James in Philadelphia, where authorities say he may live. They say he may also have a home in Wisconsin. Police are trying to figure out if he has any connection to the attack. The U-Haul was found just a few miles away from the attack. That happened on the N train at the 36th Street subway station in Brooklyn. 10 people were shot and another 13 people were injured. And you can see the chaos as people ran from the smoke-filled subway car just before 8.30 this morning. Authorities say riders were on the packed train when the shooter set off a smoke bomb and started shooting at least 33 times. A man who was traveling on a Manhattan-bound N train opened two canisters that dispensed smoke throughout the subway car. He then shot multiple passengers as the train pulled into the 36th Street station in Sunset Park. Now investigators are trying to figure out a motive here. Authorities aren't treating it as terrorism, but say they're also not ruling it out. Detectives say they are combing through posts made by James that mention the city's mayor. Police are now tightening his security out of an abundance of caution. There are still 